Good morning, guys and gals. It's the new year. It's the 2nd of January 2023. And I'm doing a very, very long awaited video of Nick's Veggie Patch. Since you last saw me, a lot has changed up here at the allotments where I am. I am now, for a while, temporary warden. So not only do I have to do my own jobs, I'm also doing the job of the warden on a temporary basis. But I'm going to be doing a video this year and hopefully I'm going to give you loads of content and loads of stuff to keep me going. So hopefully this year is going to be a lot different compared to last year because I was really, really busy. And really towards the end of the year, never had a chance to do a video. So this year, hopefully there'll be a lot more videos coming up. This is the first new video of 2023. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what's going to be happening on the plot, what plans I've got for the plot, and where we go from there. So, I'll come back to you guys in a short while. Okay, guys, so I'm just showing you my plot and what it looks like at the moment. But also, you will see other plots in the vicinity. Um, but this is basically um, an upshot of what Nick's Veggie Patch looks like. I will slightly move the camera around so you can see my plot. I've got a new tripod, so I have been using the new tripod. But generally, the plot isn't too bad. Um, yes, there are weeds in and amongst the bark, but they can be easily pulled up because the ground is wet. Um, and obviously, where we had that frost is obviously cut back the weeds a little bit. But there is a clearing up operation I've got to do here up on Nick's Veggie Patch. And I am going to start that today. So I'll pick a few raised beds to get going with. Um, but also, as I've said, I am the new warden on a trial basis. So I've also got to do my job as the warden. But, yeah, this is what Nick's veggie patch looks like. Um, I'll clear a few raised beds. And then hopefully, by the end of the day, I'll give you a new video for... 2023 because I haven't uploaded one for ages but this is just an upshot of what my plot looks like at the moment as I say it's not too bad a few bits and pieces need clearing but I'm going to sort that clear a few bits and then at some point today hopefully give you a video upload it and it will be my first video of 2023 So I'm going to show you what I've done since I've been up here this morning. So I've done about five raised beds. So I've done this one here that I've just shown you where the garlic's going to go. That one there where also the second lot of garlic will go. And I've done these few raised beds here as well. So these are all looking good. I've also started... On this raised bed as well um, that's almost cleared most of the raised beds last year I did shut down so those two there I shut down also bring you round I shut those two down as well last year um, I did shut that one at the front down but obviously the wind blew the netting apart so I'm gonna have to reweed that slightly 
But I've got about eight or nine raised beds just to clear with the weeds. I've got my new tool to clear the weeds. Um, but it shouldn't take long. A couple of weekends and I think I'll have the um, plot sorted. But yeah, there you go. So I'll say this is what I've started today. So this one's almost done. Um, but these few here have all been done. And what I'll do now... I'll give you a plot tour and show you what the plot looks like because I haven't done a plot tour for a while as well. So you can't really see what my plot looks like, but I'm going to do that now. I'll go around, give you a plot tour and show you what Nick's veggie patch looks like. Right, so I'm going to show you where I'm going to be planting my garlic and my potatoes uh, this year. So for the last couple of years I've had both lots of garlic in this raised bed and this raised bed but I found out you should only have garlic in the same bed two years on the trot so no more than that so there is going to be a change um, so this raised bed here that had some onions in last year and some and a variety of courgettes this one's going to have garlic in and also this square raised bed here so these two here are going to have my garlic in but that still gives me out of the raised beds that I've got it gives me two good raised beds there and two good raised beds there for my potatoes so I'm gonna have four bins of potatoes which will hopefully produce me a lot of potatoes the crop wasn't that great last year for the simple fact the weather was so hot and I never really had the time to come up here a lot as I have done in previous years because of my work commitments but yeah I've got four good size beds that will take my potatoes um, I mean technically I could even use this one here as well for potatoes it's a good size bed uh, this raised bed is gonna have some of my beetroot in I had a very good crop of beetroot last year and I used a variety recommended by Charles Dowding. Um, I subscribe to him on YouTube, so I follow him. And one of the best beetroot variety he, varieties that he recommends is Boltardi. Now, the reason he recommends that, it's the clue is slightly in the name bolt it's a variety that doesn't bolt easily or very rarely bolts so i grew boltardi last year on his recommendation and i had a great lot of beetroot so um i'll be growing that again this year boltardi i will also be growing other varieties because i did grow a variety called golden beetroot and I had a few of them, not very many, but a few. So yeah, this raised bed here will probably take the beetroot. Um, this raised bed here will probably be again for salads, um, maybe peas like I did last year. My peas, um, the chard, rainbow chard I had in there and the peppermint chard which is also a great success and also some kale a variety of curly kale so yeah as you can see I've marked out where the beetroot I've marked out where the garlic's going where the potatoes are going and potentially where the beetroot and a couple of other things are going 
Um, but that's going to give me the start I need. Right, guys, I'm stood outside my shed. I thought I'd show you the improvements I've done in my shed since I last saw you guys. So I've had a little bit of a change around. I've brought an old bookcase from my home and put it into my shed. It's going to be for storing things or uh, uh, storing things and then I will use the shelving there. I've got if I do sow any seeds up here, seeds can go and be sowed on the shed there uh, on the um, shelf. Sorry, can be sowed on the shelf and they'll have the warmth of this uh, nice shed that as you remember in one of the last videos I did, I told you I was gifted a shed for nothing. But as I say, this is what it looks like at the moment. It's also storing all my tools, which is brilliant because they're not lying around on the plot. Um, but yeah, and this will also be where I'll be able to have a coffee. I'll bring my camping stove up and I'll be able to make a nice coffee. Still got my kettle there camping stove is at home in my shed at the moment where i haven't obviously been able to get up here enough to kind of be up here long enough to have a coffee i've got things that i've got ready to um plant out for this year so very soon i've got some golden gourmet shallots to go out i've got um my garlic to grow to go out so i've got um variety again casablanca uh germidor but also i've got the gar one of the garlic bulbs i saved from my garlic harvest last year there to go out um what i'll do is i'll show you whereabouts they're gonna go but generally it's nice and tidy in this shed. It is nice somewhere for me to come and sit. I just, um, I Obviously, I can only get up here at the weekends at the moment. And with it being dark in the evenings, there isn't enough light to um, come up here and sit in the shed. But as soon as the light changes, I'll be up here sitting in my shed, coffee, doing um, my plot. This is Nick's Veggie Patches shed, and it's looking really nice. I'm really, really pleased with it.
Right guys, that's me done for the day. Obviously, it's the last day off before I go back to work. Um, I've done a fair bit down the plot today anyway, so cleared um, a fair bit um, out of the raised beds that I've shown you on the plot. And obviously, now you can see what sort of job I'm doing also as the warden. But I'll see you guys shortly for another episode. I'll get this uploaded to YouTube. And I'll see you again shortly for another episode of Nick's Veggie Patch. As always, guys, stay safe. I hope you all have a good new year. And hopefully... I'll upload a lot more videos than I did last year, but I'll see you shortly, guys.